Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. It's the first day of November. So, have I got some stuff. Okay, so I want to thank those who joined me for ritual last night. Uh, that was kind of cool. It was my first time kind of doing that out to everybody and actually showing a personal part of my practice. And, um, you know, it felt really good afterwards. So I really enjoyed that. Um, so, uh, at the end of the evening, <laughs> as I was taking everything back inside the house, what happens? I dropped my iPad. And fortunately, my iPad was fine, but my iPad <laughs> holder took a major hit. <laughs> So, I had to go out today. I had to brave the 50% <coughs> off shoppers for Halloween stuff. <laughs> well, truthfully, there wasn't much Halloween stuff uh, to begin with. Anyway, but I did find this cool cup. Look, it's Jack. And it was 50% off. So, I did get that job. Uh, the other thing is, it was funny, I was in Walmart, and I went around the corner, and I came face to face with this beauty. Can you see that face? Look at that face. That face said, take me home. So I did. This is the new blanket for my bed for this season. Um, as you can see, uh, my personality, is when I go... I go all in. It's it's not just one thing. It's it's everything. So um, also, I, <laughs> I have to tell you guys, um, you have all turned me into such of a a tea fanatic. It isn't funny. Okay, I just had a few teas um, before I started making friends on here. And uh, how everybody loved teas, which I do love tea. I usually have my tea at night. I may be drinking tea more often uh, now that I'm going with this paleo thing. Um, I do like at least one, maybe two cups of coffee in the morning. But outside of that, um, that's it. So anyway, now I have to show you this. So um, you you saw this chest. I originally uh, had this in my my video before but now it's got some different teas in it uh, not just Bentley's um, because I had to find a place for them not only that I actually ended up having to go out and buy <laughs> a 10 pocket tea caddy so this is actually 10 boxes of different teas um, I have Ooh, I'm going to lose it here. This is just like plexiglass. It's not glass glass. But this is wood, and I got it on Amazon for like $18 and change. But I have my pump, chai pumpkin spice. I have um, spice chai. I like, can you tell I like chai? I have the uh, dragon spice, right? Double spice chai. I can't read upside down. Double spice chai. I have maple apple cider. I have cinnamon vanilla. Um, this is Bigelow's English breakfast. Forgot what that is. Oh, coconut mango oolong tea. And then this one is doo -doo -doo. What I have it here. Cranberry pomegranate. And this is <laughs> uh, chai green tea. I don't like chai at all, do I? And then lastly, this is toasted coconut. Ew, toasted coconut. So I have filled up this 10-part caddy with 10 boxes of tea. Well, then I started going through the cabinets, and um, I have, 
I didn't bring it out, but I have Sleepy Time. I have Sleepy Time Vanilla, and I have uh, Sleepy Time Honey. Those are all my nighty night teas, which work really well, by the way. Um, someone, I haven't, I don't think I've even opened this box, but somebody suggested when I had tummy troubles to get this uh, raspberry ginger from Yogi. It was supposed to be really good for tummy issues. Um, of course, I had to get the lemon ginger and manuka honey when I saw Simon with it. And we're coming up on that time of year. But I also found Vermont maple cider. Rutching through the cabinets. India spice chai. I don't have a chai problem, do I? And then I went out, you know, today... Um, because I had to get a new case for my, my iPad and I find all this other stuff. And so I found one box of the salted caramel that Sunny sent me, which was yummy. And I couldn't turn this down. Orange and cinnamon spice from Twinings. Mm-mm. And then shout out to my girl, Dead Cheeky. Look what I finally friggin' found. Spice Dag Dragon, Spice Dagon, Red Chai. I not only bought one box, I bought two boxes because I have not been able to find this stuff anywhere. So there you go. Now you have my tea update. I am going to be drinking tea until the end of time. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought I would. Uh, I, it was just too much fun to to not show you guys. So all right. Oops, I gotta lift up here. Uh, so, anyways, the big thing is is this. I have a box, and can you see who that's from? I think it says there. Yeah. Can you see who that's from? That's from U.S. Games, people. I had two decks on pre-order, and I do believe. This is going to be them, and I'm so excited, so I'm going to unbox. If I can get into the box, I was so excited. I love the way they wrap this, though. Wow, really excellent wrapping here. I'm completely uh, appreciative. Probably should have broke into this. Um, ah. Don't mind my funny faces here. Ah. Yes. <laughs> it is what I thought it is. Oh wow! Like got crap loads of craft paper in here. Of course, I'll be recycling that. If you watch me weave to get it. But I have the Spirit Song Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. And I have Mudras for Awakening the Five Elements. So, I'm excited. So, I'm going to unbox Paulina right now. I'm going to unbox the Spirit Song. And we're going to have a little look through. Because I'm so excited about these cards. I have been watching her art on this deck for months now. Um, I really love her style. Uh, I think the only uh, deck of hers I do not have is uh, Witchlings, and that's next on my list. So, anyways, oh, nice box. Nice box. It's got the, got the little crimpies on the side. Just a plain kind of peachy off-white. Excellent box. You got the, the book. And then the cards. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this book. <sighs> Nothing like the smell of a new book. Okay, so it is 
105 pages long. Um, she's got a few spreads in here. Oh, I like this. Spirit Song Star Spread. Spirit Song Healing Spread. Oh, Tree of Life Spread. And I think there's a one card and three card. Yeah, one card, three card readings. So let's see. The beginning is the introduction, spirit song, animals, elemental signs, spirit song, suits. So they did change the suit, acorns, feathers, shells, and crystals. And then it goes right into the cards. It's no pictures, but um, it appears the major arcana have a whole page, or two pages, rather, uh, with uh, reversed there and then um oh yeah and then the the miners have like a page and a quarter something like that so all right the box is this it's this pretty you know what this box reminds me of this reminds me of my friend veronica rose because it looks like a rose colored box. I just, I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so here's the cards. Get into, find a way to break into those. Do, do, do. Oop, not quite thought I got there. Ah, yes. All right, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, so here are the cards. Nice cards, nice feel. They're matte finish. Um, pretty good card stock. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Here is the backs of the cards. And something else I like. Okay, take a look at this, guys. Teeny, teeny, tiny at the bottom of the card. Yes, it's on both ends. But teeny tiny, the trademark, it's not on the front of the card. Hallelujah. I would rather have it in the back. And it's so teeny tiny, it's actually lost in the design. You focus on the design, not on this little bit down here. I love that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. So here we go. The Fool. Oh, look at the magician. It, I see it has keywords at the bottom. A couple of keywords at the bottom. I'm already in freaking love with this. And this came, this couldn't have come at a better time um, for my, my animal ducks. This is amazing. Shaman love look at the wolves my my card look at this my card is the strength card it is the leo card and it's an elephant how serendipitous is that oh look little koala hermit the wheel octopus I'm so loving these cards the hanged man upside down grasshopper transformation so apparently the names have been some of the names have been changed to the Major Arcana. You see that now. Chameleon is the tower. I like that. The chameleon is the tower. The star. Oh, look at the owl. Chase. My man Chase. 
hummingbird for the sun. Hummingbird is one of my totem animals. Jen, peacock. Look at that beautiful peacock. And the world is the whale. How awesome. Oh my God. I am so freaking in love with these cards already. It isn't funny. Okay, Ace of Acorns, which I think may be Wands. Two of Acorns. Is that a hawk? Is that an eagle? I think that's a hawk. That's another totem animal of mine. Three of Acorns. Has anybody checked in on April lately and... Uh, her boy there, four of acorns, five, six, God, look at that, wow, wow, seven, ooh, Look at that. Wow. Okay, that cat means business. Look at that face. <laughs> Page of acorns. Knight of acorns. Wild boar. That's cool. Queen of Acorns. I am absolutely. Look at that horse. Look at that horse. Oh my gosh. There's just so much painted into these. Ace of Shells. I think that may be Pentacles. I don't know. Two of Shells. of shells. Are you guys not loving these? These are so beautiful. I actually almost think this is their best deck yet. Wow. I am absolutely flipping blown away. This was more than, than I ever could have thought. My friend, the pelican. I feel so inadequate saying, wow, gee, whoa, will you look at that? But I mean, how can you, how can you not? King of shells. That's beautiful. Okay, now we're on to Ace of Feathers, which I think may be Swords. I'm going to have to go back in the book and, and re-look. Two, three. Oh my gosh, Armadillo! Armadillo is also in my totem. All my totems are showing up here. This is this is my deck. So far, all my totem animals are showing up. So this is quite interesting. The mousey. Another snake. Raccoon. I think that's supposed to be a coyote. Look at the bat. How beautiful is that? Oh yeah, there's my man. That is the King of Swords if, if I ever saw one. The 
stories. A beaver. I love all these animals. Look at the prairie dogs. Oh my gosh. An aardvark? Seriously. Who thinks of putting aardvarks into tarot? I love this. Bison. This is just amazing. I'm pretty sure that's a crocodile because alligators are smaller, but alligator is in my totem, so. Fox. Camel. <laughs> Porcupine. And lastly, tiger. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness, I'm so freaking happy. And these cards, these cards are beautiful. Just beautiful. Shuffle like a dream. Oh yeah. They're not too big, not too big at all. So let's see. I'm going to pull a card. Give me a message here. Give me a message. What do you think? you think about being here and being with me? Huh? How do we like being here and being with me? So excited. I'm so excited to have you here. That is for certain. I am very excited to have you here. Okay. So. Go. The card I pulled was Success Triumph, the Six of Acorns. So let me see what I've got here. Okay, so acorns. Oh, it doesn't tell me what they are. Feathers. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, so acorns are wands. Feathers are swords. Shells, oh, shells are cups. And crystals are pentacles. So I got the, the shells and the crystals mixed up. Okay, so uh, acorns is wands. And this is the six of wands. So six of acorns. Okay, so it says here, message. Success and triumph. Majestic elk carries himself with honor and nobility. He walks with you on your chosen path, guiding you toward the best use of your energy to avoid burning out. Pace yourself and concentrate on what needs to be done. Be confident in your abilities to make your dreams a reality. You hold the power to shape your destiny to your desired outcome. If something doesn't feel right, trust in your intuition. Realize that your optimism and persistence will drive you to attain what you set out to accomplish. Belief in yourself will inspire others to follow you. I gotta turn the page. So it says, uh, keywords, success, triumph, power, enthusiasm, leadership, recognition, strength. I think we are going to have a uh, fabulous time together me and my new spirit song tarot okay guys Ooh, i'm up to almost 25 minutes <laughs> much love and i'll see you next video